And now the late news. Safety cover has been restored at Scotland's oldest pit, Francis Colliery in Fife, but striking miners say it will be a temporary measure to avert a state of emergency, and they've accused the coal board of sabotaging the pit by switching off all underground power. The row was sparked off by two rebel miners who decided to break picket lines to return to work. Meanwhile, Industry Minister Alan Stewart is claiming the majority of Scottish pitmans want to return to work. He says they are only being stopped by intimidation and violence. A journalist has been slightly injured by a car on a picket line duty outside the offices of Aberdeen Journals. The incident happened only hours after journalists unanimously rejected a new pay offer, but the management said that the present journal will be available today. Police say a fire in which a Perth pensioner was badly burned was started deliberately. Detectives say a plastic rubbish bin had been placed against the door of a council flat in Newhouse Road and set alight. 77-year-old Christina Nicol sustained burns as she escaped through the blazing entrance in her night clothes. She may have to undergo skin grafting. The Prince and Princess of Wales and Prince William flew into Aberdeen as planned to begin their annual Balmoral holiday. There had been rumours that the Princess would postpone the trip following the suicide of her favourite uncle, Lord Fermoy. The Princess Diana be decided to go ahead with the holiday and return to England for the funeral. The Princess is expecting her second child within three weeks, but Buckingham Palace have rejected rumours that the baby will be born in Aberdeenshire. The number of people killed and injured on Grampian Roads in June is up on last year. New figures show that there were 188 road accidents in the region in which four were killed and 251 injured. This compared with 161 accidents, no deaths and 226 injuries in June last year. A police spokesman says the latest figures are disappointing. The future of the Torrey Research Station in Aberdeen, which escaped closure earlier this year, has been outlined by the Fisheries Department. The Ministry say Torrey's important role as a research centre for the fishing industry should continue, but the government wants outside help with funding. A spokesman says it's only right that fishing interests should, be, should make a reasonable contribution towards projects of direct benefit to the industry. The Torrey Station employs 125 people. Hundreds, and people, hundreds of people in Deeside have received handbills urging them to save water. As the drought intensifies in Grampian region, river levels are continuing to drop and springs have dried up. Ian Brown, the region's water services director, says a crisis hasn't yet been reached, but he's urged people to continue to conserve supplies. The body of a man found under the railway bridge at Rosemount Viaduct, Aberdeen at the weekend has been identified as 51-year-old Eric Finney, who lived in the city. Grampian police are appealing for anyone who may have been in the area between 1am and 2am on Sunday to come forward. Aberdeen manager Alex Ferguson has been appointed coach of Scotland's international side. He takes over from Dundee United boss Jim McLean as second in command to Jock Steen at a critical time as Scotland prepares for the qualifying games for the 1986 World Cup. And still on football, a result just in. For the second round replay of the Highland League Cup, Inverness Caledonian 1, Brora Rangers 0 after extra time. Well, that's the news this evening and now let's take a look at the weather. First for this evening and tonight, most places will be dry and clear, but patchy low cloud may affect Shetland at times. And now the forecast for Tuesday. Shetland and Orkney will be dry with sunny intervals, however patchy low cloud and fog is likely, especially around Shetland. Maximum temperatures ranging from 17 degrees centigrade to 21 degrees centigrade with light south to southeast winds. Mainland districts, including the north and west and the Isles, and extending to include central and eastern areas also, will be dry with a good deal of sunshine. However, fog patches may affect eastern coastal districts from time to time. It will become hot inland with afternoon temperatures near 27 degrees centigrade, but on coasts it will be cooler nearer 18 degrees centigrade. Winds will be light, occasionally moderate, east to southeast. And finally, the further outlook for Wednesday. Most areas will again have a very warm, settled day, 
In the east it will be muggy and coastal mist may affect some places. Over high ground some showers are likely and that's the weather. If you're an early riser, why not make a brighter start to your day by pressing the ITV button each morning for Good Morning Britain from TVAM. Good Morning Britain brings you news, features and a host of celebrities. So press the ITV button at 6.25 and start the day with TVAM. Or if you're up and on the move, your local radio station will provide you with the latest news, weather and travel information live from the studios of Murray Firth, North Sound and Radio Tay. TVAM and local radio, a better way to start your day. And with the time just at 20 minutes to one o'clock, we come to the end of our evening's viewing on Grampian. Thank you for being with us. We'll be back in the air at 9.25 tomorrow, so why not join us then? Until then, of course, this is Colin Lamont, wishing you on behalf of us all here at Grampian Television a very safe and peaceful good night. If you're on your own tonight, then I hope we've been good company. Good night, all, and do sleep well. And finally tonight, of course, please do remember to switch off your television sets and unplug from the mains. Good night, all.